In this video I'm going to show you how I make my barbecue ribs in the big green egg in three hours. Alright, this is my setup right here. It's a large big green egg. Open it up. Got my rib rack. I usually stand up the ribs right here. That's the regular big green egg grill. Uh, great, the great for the for the ribs to sit on. Have a drip pan. I normally put like a quarter inch of water in here. This is a ceramic plate. It doesn't come with the egg, but if you ever buy a green egg, you got to get one of these things. It's like a heat shield, so the the charcoals go on the bottom. And this plate goes right here, and then the heat comes around and cooks the ribs. Indirect heat. And I usually wrap this in aluminum foil so it doesn't get all greasy. We use uh, lump charcoal. Lump charcoal is it's not like regular charcoal, it's just wood that's been turned into charcoal. And I usually, with a big green egg, you can turn off the vents and the fire will go out and you could reuse the old charcoal you had left over and then just add some more when you get ready to cook. I usually fill it up to about right here. Okay. Let's uh, go to the next step. Okay, the next step is uh, lighting the charcoals. I use a chimney starter, a big one. And I, and I keep my uh, lump charcoal in the little canister right there. I keep that outside, it's waterproof so it don't get wet. Stop filling this thing up. Once this thing is filled up, I use a fire starter. Any kind of fire starter will do. I just use these. What I do is I break them in half. And I just light them up. like that. Put the charcoals on top, open up the vent on the bottom of the big green egg and just let that catch fire. It takes about 15-20 minutes and we'll go inside and start preparing the ribs. Okay, here's everything you need for the ribs. You're gonna need some, I buy St. Louis ribs, and you're gonna need a butter knife, a little brush. The only thing I put on them is kosher salt, this garlic pepper that I get from uh, Sam's, and then I use uh, apple juice, 
yellow mustard and that and a spray bottle the, the spray bottle is filled with apple juice and what I do first is first I take off this membrane let me see if I could do that and still be in, out of the way of the camera just lift it up in one corner like that get it lifted up just grab it with a paper towel and hopefully you could rip it right off in one go like so you cut off any excess fat you don't like All this stuff right here. You can trim them up any way you want, it doesn't really matter. Some people cut all this stuff off. Alrighty. Then I just take my uh, happy juice, just lightly spray them. Take my yellow mustard. So I'm almost out. Let's put a little bit of yellow mustard on them like that. Get your brush. You're gonna make a mess, so I don't have a big kitchen, so I have to. Make a mess here. Just spread that mustard around. I'm gonna take your, your salt. It's a light coating of salt. And then uh, the garlic pepper. Just a light coating. You can't really put too much of this stuff on. You can put whatever you want in the ribs. Some people got put all kinds of crap on them. I just put those two ingredients. And some people cook them for six hours using the three, two, one method. It's three hours on the grill and then two hours wrapped in aluminum foil and then the last hour without the aluminum foil but I don't like wrapping them in the aluminum foil because it's like eating boiled ribs they they, they sit there in, in their own juice and they, you kind of boil them they come out falling off the bone but I don't like falling off the bone ribs I like to eat the meat right off the bones anyway let's spray some more apple juice plus it takes six hours if you use the three two one method it only takes three hours it takes six hours with the three, two, one method. It only takes three hours doing it the way I do it. A little bit of mustard, spread it around. More kosher salt. Some people put brown sugar and soy sauce and all that. There's different recipes all over the internet. I just use these two ingredients. You can use salt and pepper too if you don't have garlic salt. It don't really matter. They're going to come up here no matter what you put on. The cooking is what makes them taste good, not the ingredients. Flip them over. Now I gotta cut them in three different pieces. I gotta cut them so they can fit on my rib rack. So cut them into thirds, like one here, one here. So I got one, two, three pieces. Like 
can kind of see where the bone is. That's it. Put them on a the plate. And we're going to see if those coals are hot. If they're hot, if they're hot, we're ready to go. Okay, it started raining on me, but we're not going to let that stop us. Holes are getting hot. Take this grill off. Pour the coals on top of the hole. Coals there. a long cook you could add more coal. All right. We let those coals Catch fire here. Let them warm up. Okay, I'm sitting here waiting for my coals to get hot. If it's nice and sunny, they get hot pretty quick, but it's drizzling out right now. So it's uh, having a little hard time getting started. So you could just fan them. You got something to fan them with. And if you really need to uh, speed it up, just to get a shot back and put it on the outlet and put that, blow some air with the shot back in there and in a few minutes that flame will be this high. But it's not raining that bad, so. Once you see your coals are nice and gray, go ahead and close the lid. And we'll wait for this thing to get up to at least 300, 400 degrees. And we'll come back and check on it before we put the ribs on. Alrighty, we got it at the magic 250 mark. So we just leave it there for three hours. It's 215, three hours from now, or three beers from now, and we'll be done. We'll come back and check on them in a little while. Okay, it's been an hour. Temperature's still holding at 250. Let's see what the ribs look like. First time I opened the grill. Looking good. Let's close it back up. Go have another beer. I mean, uh, wait another hour. We'll come back and check them again. Alrighty. That's two hours in. We got one more hour to go. Let's open it up. We got it at 250 still. Holding steady at 250. They're almost done. Let's flip them over. Because this side is still best of ways to go. Close her up. Gotta get back up to 250. Should be done in an hour. We'll come back and check on them. Okay, it's been three hours. Should be done. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, looking good. Let's take them out. Take them inside. Close up the, the egg, close the bottom bent. Put the cover on it. And this coast should uh, 
go out and we'll we, we use them next time. Let's go inside the house. All right, what we're gonna do is cut them up. We're good. Took exactly three hours. Alrighty, that look good. Time to eat. Thanks for watching.